South. Back again with another video. Today we're going to talk to y'all about Freightliner trucks or international trucks. Which one do we prefer? We're going to go with Freightliner. Right? Yeah, Freightliner. At first, when we got the international, I was pretty disappointed because of how it went. This is a story for a whole nother day. Um, but as we got to drive in the international, because that's what we drive right now, I was like, oh, I don't think I might like this better than a Freightliner. This might be okay. Yeah, it's, uh, the ride is a little bit more comfortable. I mean, it doesn't, like, doesn't the, bounce the, 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 it don't bounce as much, you know what I'm saying? It's not the best on the road. You know, I'm pretty sure trucks like Volvos and maybe Peter, Peter Belts, they probably ride the road a little better, but as far as, like, the Freightliner go, the International kind of rides the road a little better than the uh, Freightliner. Yep, another so thing far. for me is the mirrors. The mirrors are out further, so it gives you more of a, to me, you, you view things way better than in the Freightliner. The Freightliner's mirrors are closer, so you don't see as much. Um, granted, you can adjust them, but it's not the same. So I really, that's one of my favorite things about the International, the mirrors. Because you got the two side mirrors, like I said, they come out like this versus the Freightliner that's in like this. Then, of course, you got the mirrors on the hood, and the Freightliner has them too. But I think that the mirrors on this truck are bigger too, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they are bigger. What's another? Um, the International, when it bags up, um, the Freightliner, it shakes. Yeah, they it call shakes. it the shake. What do they call uh, it? The shake liner or yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Freight shaker. Mm -hmm. There Something you like go. That's yeah, shaker, I think. Mm -hmm. But when Which you makes you nervous yeah, when you're when bagging up and you're trying to, you know, get into a spot and it just start kind of jerking yeah. and backing up while you're trying to back up. Especially for beginners, that's yeah, like, it's not, uh, it's, it's not the move. Like the, when you're trying to back in and you're not really used to bagging in like that, that's not that you want to be feeling your truck shaking like that. Yeah, no. no, no. It's not a good feeling. So the international, it's it kind of like, it's just kind of smooth, you know. It's smooth. It has the stick, it, like it's basically the clutch. So both of them does the same, like has the same thing if you heat the clutch up too much. But the good thing about the International is you just don't feel that shaking. Mm -hmm. You know, you can just bag them smoothly and you don't have to worry about that. So that's another thing that I like about the International. Yep. Um, other than that, I think that's all we like about the International. Um, yeah, I think. I can't um, think of anything else. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's about it. The um, the Freightliner is bigger. Bigger, way it's more bigger. space. Way more space. This, way more space. This, like, for us to be on here, the clothes, where we put our clothes and all that stuff, most of the time it just seems cluttered. We got to do a lot of rearranging, throwing away, and that's the only way that we can live in this truck comfortably. It's so, not yeah. nearly as much space. No. You know, it's so as far as like, we gotta, we gotta um good thing that it's not um good thing that we're on the truck together you know because we we use the the top bump for storage too like we put a lot of our stuff on the top bump because there's not a lot of space on the truck in general mm -hmm. so we have to do a whole lot of compartmentalizing trying to put stuff together in certain areas so we have enough space but the freightliner is way more space and then like in the back like if you want to eat your food it's like a little tray thing you can slide out sit your food on top of there and eat your food and i'm not even familiar with what he's talking about because my trainer had a 2020 freightliner and we never utilized whatever he's talking about this tray i didn't even know that there was one that existed it's kind of honestly it's like if you don't know it's there you probably would never know it was there you know because it's like right on the side of uh i don't know if you can see this thing so like picture a whole compartment being right here and you just pull it out yeah, and you just been able to you just put your food on top of there oh, and you can eat your food from there. You know what I mean? So it's better because it's like it's not really know where to eat your food. Like if you if you sitting in the bed and you kind of got your food right on on your lap, yeah. Or you sitting in the chair, you kind of got your food right on your lap. Yeah. So unless you, you like buy a stand or something like that, you can put it on the dashboard, but the, you'll still be reaching for yeah, so We so, bought a stand, but we just haven't used it yet. Yeah. One thing that I do like about the Freightliner that the International does not have is the ladder to get on the top bunk. Oh, yeah. We don't have that in this. You got to step on things, like step on one thing, and I'll show you. I'll put little clips in. You'll step on one thing to climb on the top, and if you're old, luckily we're not old yet, but if you're old, you're not going to be able to get up there. Yeah, you got to you 
got to kind of put your feet on top of something, grab a pole, mm -hmm. put your feet on top of something else, and then pull yourself to the top of the yeah. bed. Half the time, one foot's on the fridge, another foot's on the thing that they provide for you to buy our microwave. So the latter is way better. Um, another thing, storage in the Freightliner. You can lift up your bed and have the whole thing for storage underneath. Yep. We don't have that in the International. Um, you can lift up the bed, you can, but first off, it's hassle. And second off, there's only these side compartments that you can reach from the outside yeah. for stuff. But in those side compartments, it's your, I think it's your, something with the APU. There's a lot of stuff for the APU in there, the a truck. lot of stuff for the truck so that take up most of the space. So, so then you can't really put nothing in there's there. There's not really a lot of space like you would think to be able to even use. You know? We put our water bottles in there and we have our, uh, what are they called? The things, the jumpers. Uh, jumper, jumper cables. cables yeah. That's all we have in there, really. We, we don't have room. So then, like I said, stuff is kind of like all over. We try to arrange and all that, but we're definitely getting us a Freightliner. Um, um, one more thing that I like about the Freightliner go ahead. Um, is the uh, engine brake. Yes, the engine um, brake on the Freightliner is stronger. The, the engine brake on the Freightliner, it works way better. You know, it really breaks the truck down. It really... uh slows you down on this one you almost have to put it on the highest level every time for it to really and even then it doesn't seem to, like it's working it to right do something. and then you have to mash the brake down yeah then it seems like it's not yeah you have to mash the brake down then push it for it to kind of kick in yeah, so it's, it's different all together scary with the snow um, and the inclines yeah that. it's not as strong we've got to adjust it to it the past five six months but it's not and when you're coming down them them real deep steep incline. inclines you know what i mean is it's, it's kind of scary because the jake brake don't work like you would want it to but on that freight liner once you hit that jake brake it's gonna kick in and it's gonna definitely help and it works way better with the stab braking sometimes on on the international even with the stab braking and the jake braking you be scared you're gonna burn the brakes up because it don't really do what you would want it to do as far as stopping you so that's another thing that I realized that I like more about the Freightliner. You know? Agreed. And for all the issues we've had with this International, if we had a Freightliner, our stuff, we wouldn't have to wait on parts or nothing like that. Like with the International, the people aren't having parts. We're having to wait days for these parts. Like Freightliner is just so much more convenient when it comes to maintenance. We went to go get a simple oil change and they didn't even have a filter. You we know, went to for, two or three places yeah, they, didn't they didn't have even a filter. have filters for, uh, for our uh, truck. And another thing that's I don't know what's going on with international, but every time we go to a shop, they can never figure out what's wrong Man, with our truck. Man, we always leave and something is still wrong they with our never, truck. They can never figure out what's wrong with our truck. It don't matter what it is. It could be like the the same thing has been the, the sensors. And every time we go, we stay for hours. One time we had to be in a hotel for five, four days, four, four or five four days, five days yep. and they still didn't figure it out. No, when we left, there was still problems we ended up stopping at a ta or was it a petrol to, i think it was a ta yeah. to get our st stuff fixed and even the ta didn't even get it all it was horrible and the bad thing is if we get something fixed in minnesota and we're driving two three hours out maybe four hours now we're in another state and now we're seeing the stuff isn't fixed we can't go back it's such an inconvenience so like as far as like the international bill um a lot of people say like the internationals are in good trucks, but yeah, I will say that we Sorry. have, it's not horrible, but we have had, it's for it to be a new truck, and when we got it, it only had 4,000 miles on it. So for We're it to be, now. yeah, for it to be a new truck, we have had our share of uh, shop visits. You know, not really nothing under the hood, mostly like sensor stuff though, you know what I mean? It overheated one time and um, we had to stop and, um, get it to the shop like it was going back if he stopped somewhere it started going back on yeah. it like it just was it overheated like to the point we couldn't hit give it no gas and we took it to the shop and they still really didn't find no problem so that's like the only issue as far as like the uh the international goes we the getting it fixed with maintenance, mm -hmm. maintenance and stuff like that yeah so so that's our output or our input in, on the Freightliners and the internationals of course do your research mm -hmm. but most people you talk to are going to tell you to get a Freightliner overall with prime it seems like they're really pushing the internationals all yeah. of a sudden because that was our only options really to choose we could have waited longer we don't know if they got like a, a newer contract Maybe with a with an international or something like that because it seems like mm -hmm. they're getting more internationals now and they're 
trying to kind of like push them on you a little bit more than at first it was like they had more freightliners than anything but the, mm -hmm. when we was up there picking out our truck they had a whole lot of internationals yep and we both trained with freightliners so mm -hmm. coming to this truck we were there might still actually there are things some buttons we still don't even know what yeah. the use of them are Definitely. because yeah. you know and sometimes we learn along the way but really there's like a few questions we still have to ask about mm -hmm. some of these buttons so if we had to choose um, we would definitely pick a Freightliner. Freightliner. Freightliner, you know. It's a few things about the International that's not bad, but if we had to make a solid decision, it will be Freightliner. But like she said, do your research. Don't let us, you know, steer the wrong way. Some people love Internationals. You know, you never know. Some people don't like Freightliners, you know. Some people mm -hmm. wouldn't want either one of them. But as far as our experience, we've only been in Internationals and only been in Freightliners. We would definitely pick the Freightliner. Definitely. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave us a comment or hit us up on our Instagrams. Yep. We would love to answer them for you. Yep. And make sure that you push that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And that notification bell. Bing. <laughs> so that y'all know anytime we get a new video. Yep. Um, same with T Blunt. T Blunt will be posting her video since I'm now on this truck. Her and I aren't able to do videos together like we did before. Um, but anytime we get around each other, our goal is to make a video um, so that we can get back in tune with y'all. We miss y'all and doing videos together, so in due time. But we will continue to give y'all content. Definitely. You know, the show don't stop. We hate that they're not able to do their videos like they used to. But like she said, whenever they get a chance to, they will do videos. But uh, other than that, we'll just keep providing y'all with content from be whether it be on the truck from our home in Texas or when they get together and we go to Minnesota and they have to do able to do videos together, we just keep providing content from y'all. Cause we have they have gained a loyal fan base and um, we want to keep providing the content for y'all, you know. We appreciate y'all watching the videos. So. Yep. So until next time y'all. Bye. Peace. I got some money on me. I got some money on me. Tell me you gotta see I got some money.